Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom forms. Custom forms are helpful for directing visitors to your website for online registrations. For example, forms can be used to receive applications for promotions, subscription to regular email updates, and requests for more electronic information. To create a custom form, access your dashboard. From your dashboard, click on Content and Forms. Here you'll find a list of forms that you've created in the past. You can add any of these forms in certain pages of your website, view the results, edit them, or delete them altogether. To create a brand new form, click on this green button. Now create a title for your form. Now drag and drop the fields that you would like to add into your form. To edit each field, click on the field and edit the label. You can also configure each of these fields. For example, if you'd like their phone number to be mandatory, click on the required box. Once you're done adding the fields, scroll down and edit your form settings. If you'd like to make sure that the registrations you receive are not Google bots and are real website visitors, click on CAPTCHA to verify your users. You can also limit your submissions to an X number of submissions. Once their submission has been received, you can configure how the email will look like in your inbox. Now scroll down and choose which drip email campaign you'd like these applicants to be automatically assigned to. For example, if your form is designed to capture seller leads, you may want to choose the seller drip email campaign. By selecting the drip email campaign for sellers, leads generated from this form will automatically receive emails designed for sellers. Once done, click on save. This is what the form will look like. To add the form into your website, click on Add Form to the site. This will take you to the Widget Manager, where you can now choose which page on your website to add the form into. Choose the section of the page where you would like to add this form, and then drag and drop the widget into that checkered area. Once done, exit the Widgets Manager page by scrolling down to the bottom of the page and then clicking on Back to Dashboard. To view the changes you've made, click on your domain.